Well, I am very hungry, and so I decided to do a review on a restaurant chain because that's technically what America is all about. Fast food chains and capitalism. That's pretty much it. Apart from the heavy amount of diabetes, money problems, and the school system, but that's besides the point. Those first two things are what America is known for. I restart this intro. And the businesses, and just gen and Hollywood, and a bunch of other things. One eternity later. Besides all that, capitalism and fast food is what America is known for. There's one thing I love for us as a foodie above all else, and that is a good old fresh and American hamburger. What I have here is somewhat a good old fashioned American hamburger. That bit from just now was entirely meant for humor purposes and only meant to be taken as a joke. I have no idea what is in this. I know it's a double cheeseburger. I just essentially got Wendy's essentially and I'm gonna do a review on Wendy's, on Wendy's food. This would be like a mukbang, which for those of you who don't know, it's the thing on the internet that people do where they record themselves or stream themselves eating an ungodly amount. What do I do? I've got Wendy's. And so we're going to start off with the cornerstone of all fast food. The Pimp Daddy. Fuck, that is raw. I'm about to have an existential crisis about some business stuff and culture. It's like breaking the first bit of soil when you're making a new building or like you're settling on new land and creating a farm. They, you celebrate uh, like even above their head yet and nothing's ever even gonna happen. They're making a giant spiel about it by making a big speech. They get a ribbon and they cut it with giant scissors and then they and then they dig a small hole with like a, with like a very stereotypical shell. So do something something similar like something of a new building being really fast and then the construction begins and they have to get everyone out there as fast as possible. I went way off topic. So yeah, this is the cornerstone. Why didn't I just say that in the beginning? This is the cornerstone of any fast food chain like McDonald's or Wendy's, Four Fathers, etc. A French fry. This is what it's known for. Besides possible heart issues and possibly destroying the environment with the meat industry, but that's besides the point. I, I am in no way sponsored by Wendy's and any fast food chain. And I'll continue to share on the cheap ones Despite the fact that I'm a hypocrite, and I love fa and I love their fast food so much. Okay, right off, I wanted to talk about this. This isn't really soggy, um, because usually like some fast food restaurants are known for crispy, but it's got snap. Like, no, yeah, it's very soggy. They're a little bit moist. There was a misinput. Oh. Misinput. Calm down. You calm the fuck down. Squishy. Technically, that's how why it's fast food. They make it way too fast. As I mentioned in the beginning, that there's such a thing as a good old-fashioned American hamburger. That was just a stupid bit. And Markiplier also made that bit. But I decided to also get a double cheeseburger. I don't really default for the double cheeseburger, but I love um but I love the ingredients in a cheeseburger. And there's cheese. This is essentially what it is. It doesn't really look too happy, but it looks fresh, and that's why I enjoy it. The lettuce doesn't look a little too happy. It looks a little dry, but um, let me put it in my mouth anyway. Maybe it'll be happier once it's in my in my in my in my pie hole. Also, if you know me, I'm not really the biggest fan of mayonnaise, but when mixed with other things, I enjoy it. Yeah, I wish they had ketchup on here though. Hmm, whatever. I guess the tomato counts. It tastes really good. The meat's a little, a little bit rubbery. Like normally, um, McDonald's has like food that's like about where their meat patties are like 20% rubber. This is more like 25, 30. I know that's also not required, but, but that is kind of accurate, but um, it's a little bit rubbery, but it tastes really good. But and these buns taste nice and crisp though. Like they're not really plasticky. They have a fluff to it. 
which is kind of what I want a burger in, in a burger bun anyway. This is really good though. Very good. Oh, there is ketchup in here. So I got a big chunk of lettuce there. Um, tasted a little sad, but it's sort of like the thing where it's like you're very dehydrated and then you put water back in yourself and it feels okay, but it's not the same as like when you're fully hydrated, but that's kind of what's happening here with the lettuce, but I don't mind. It tastes good. I'm definitely going to that. That's good. I need a napkin. <laughs> I guess I could do a food review with a napkin nowadays. Proper napkin edit etiquette. I don't have a quicker I was praying and slapping myself at the same time. I don't know. This, this is a McFlurry. That is not a McFlurry, my dude. I usually default for like the vanilla McFlurries or a soda. For the rest of the video, I still call it a McFlurry. I, I like chocolate ice cream though. It's not my favorite. I don't really default for it, but I love it. It's a really nice ice cream. Interesting concept. I splooshed a spoon for this because I knew I was going to be eating this with a spoon, but I really should have also got a straw or something. This is essentially a chocolate malt is what it is. Ah, no! No! <laughs> I spilled. This is what I get for being me and existing in the first place. Ouch! Yeah. Mission Impossible style. <laughs> about this i needed to get a napkin and i got a straw it's so thick one eternity later that's really good i'm gonna try to open this on my lap i did it ah! we're fine if there's one thing that you can't really get wrong it's sugar sugar is basically ubiquitous is that the right term But sugar is basically like a constant throughout the food cycle. I wonder if it's like uh, how much dairy or like fat and the fat is in the. There's no fat. <laughs> of all the things to be fat free, dairy. <laughs> that's what milk is. It's essentially calcium, fat, water, and a little bit of carbohydrates, a slight bit of sugar. It has all of those necessary things because it needs to keep living things alive. So, in conclusion, the wheels of capitalism and the corporate machine do not stop no matter the situation of the world. They're gonna still try to make money off of anything with what they have, which is pretty much how everything goes. It's not bad, though. I enjoy that. That's really good. I'm, I'm genuinely pleased. So... Thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you never miss a video from me. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.